Hello, big beautiful world. I won't dilly dally. We know we've got not much evening left, so I'm just going to record hopefully a couple of quick ones. This is the Astro One. Every one of you cats and their dogs have heard about this puppy. But we're flying out of the Orbex. Orbex Melbourne, so we're taking off out of Essendon. We're just going to um, see what's what. That's what we're going to do. We all know it's goofy fun, but stick around. I said I'd be uh, looking at this one earlier today when I posted the new Red Wings Friedrich Huffman one. But I also discovered tonight another thing. Look at those locked up tollways. They look weird, but that's all good. It all adds to the trippiness of the adventure, does it not? We are flying over lovely Essendon. Let's see, let's see. I think I can put earplugs in now. All right, so hopefully that's a bit better. Um, get your feel for it all. Earplugs, racker racker, all the good stuff. It's got friends. You can't go wrong. We all love them. It's a perverse looking little creature, and we all think the blinking world of them. Um, and. It's, yeah, it's just terrific. It's just nuts to get around in. Uh, I look forward to getting to know it more. I, very different beastie to the, uh, is it the Velocity, what, what was that? Velocity, which came out with it. Velocity. Um, which came out with the initial, one of the patches from last year. Oh, the 40th anniversary patch, I think. Um... This one's far more manageable. It's interesting. Got friends make really, really interesting choices. I'm sure we'll all agree. I mean, the chop is a work of art. It's just gorgeous. Uh, GB3, again, a remote controlled aircraft and they made it reality or, you know, digital reality. That's so cool. Um, just really, really interesting choices for, for Aircraft, obviously they're, they're very physics oriented, but you can't deny their aesthetics. I mean, the, you know, the carbon composite look on this is sensational. The respective paint jobs, etc. And we jump it, we just, you know, they say jump, we say, say how high because their products are so freaking good. Um, speaking of freaking good, we're just going to check out, see if the horses are racing. One of the beauties of the Orbex Melbourne scenery is, yeah, you get uh, little Easter eggs, as it were. So this is Flemington Races, or as they call it down here, Flemo, Flemo Races. Um, so hopefully our little Astro One won't scare the horses, the Gigi's. But, uh, ah, Melbourne, you're putting on your autumn colours, looking very good. Thank you, Accu Season. Yeah, great little, uh, great little beastie to poodle about in, for sure, to be sure, to be sure. Let's see if we can catch some Gigi's. They're running around. You do actually have the horses running here, by the way, um, in, in some land. So if we're really lucky, we'll have caught it in time for the races. Maybe not. Maybe not. I've definitely flown around here a couple of times to see the, see the ball all galloping around the track. That's kind of a little bonus. Uh, one of the, a couple of the other considerations that uh, Orbex are throwing in is the balloons, the winter balloons and the autumnal balloons uh, flying over Melbourne, the beautiful hot air balloons. And uh, also, let's see if I've got time, just briefly. I'll show you. So we'll head down towards Southern Cross Station. Uh, formerly Spencer Street Station, the station on the west side of Melbourne here. 
But yeah, you're looking pretty gorgeous. Actually, today was a gorgeous day. Here in sunny Melbourne. Quite, quite busy. I hope all you cats are having a fantastic day as well. Oh. God, how many times do we all say it? You know, like, subscribe, rah, 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 rack a racker. Um, if you dig it, if not, then rest assured, you ain't going anywhere, nor am I. I'm going to keep turning out this crap because I actually really love the flight simulator. And I'm just constantly in awe of the kinds of things that they achieve here in sunny Simland. Well, let's just head over there. I love how you can just throw this sucker about. It's so cool. Not necessarily under the wires, but you know, you know what I mean. All good. All good. Now, as we come down towards Southern Cross here, towards the station, and we'll follow it through to Flinders, and we'll see what's happening on Flinders. I don't know if any other. Um, I'm not sure if anybody else has this running yet. I think that's Festival Hall down there. Or I caught Devo and quite a few other bands. Disturbed and Devo. A whole bunch of cool bands. Here we are approaching Southern Cross. We're just going to follow it round. Along to Flinders Street Station. Scientists. There we go. Follow the train. So that's one of the cool Easter eggs in this thing. As it makes its way around to uh, to Flinders Street Station up here. And uh, Fed Square, Federation Square. So that's kind of neat. Now I'm wondering if they've got the chopper pad down here. There's a chopper pad on the river for the millionaires who will come in on. So there's Sunny Flinders Street Station. Very cool. Prince's Bridge here, St Kilda Bridge. Yeah, doesn't look like it. Okay. Why don't we just plonk her down? Let's see if we can just plonk her down somewhere. Here in the gardens, I reckon. Yeah, cool. We're just going to shove her down by the amphitheatre. Hopefully, if I can do this job correctly. Alright, come on Bob. Alright, so a bit of a tricky one. Come on, kid. Never thought about landing it when I stole it, did I? No. Don't have to think about things like that. You just hop in and go. Oh. Alright, this is just getting kooky. Ah! Oh. Ha! Well, I'm going to leave it at that because I actually want to. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'm crap. I actually want to show you a different aircraft that surprised me tonight, so I'll be back shortly. So here we are, here we are, here we are, here we are in the Shavrov SH2. Just dropped from um, A1R Studios. Really sight unseen. I hadn't expected this, I don't know if anybody really had. Same people who bought us the children a few weeks back and the Ryan STA trainer quite a few years ago or a couple of years back and which both of which I love the high heaven and so I'm delighted that they've snuck this one under the radar as well. Russian aircraft 1933 surprisingly it threw into this it flew right through into the 60s. Uh, did everything from glider tug to numerous other interesting experiments very very straightforward later models had the enclosed cockpit um, really good looking all around beautiful textures it's 
It's A1, A1R, uh, Bureau Design, so they, I think they deliver on the goods. So, there's our, uh, you'll see it, you'll see it. So just flick everything on. I forget what the order, but it's pretty much a case of just turn it. Everything on. Mags, oh, come on kid. Everything's in Russian, so what do I know? Now from memory. Hang on. Mixture. That's it. Nice and easy on the start. Alright, let's see if we've got enough uh, water to get this up and running. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully. So I just want enough. Oh, this is going to be tough. All right, let's let's try it. Let's go. Let's go for broke, eh? On the step. You're kidding. We've done it. All right, that's going to be interesting. We're under the power line, I think. Oh. Well, tell me impressed. That's, that's quite incredible. Kids don't try that at home. Not to be repeated. Um, lovely textures. Lovely throughout that early or pre-war wartime VBS blue that they were so partial through the follows. I think it follows right through to today. I'm not sure if there are any Easter eggs. Like I said, it just dropped. I just bought it then, 28 bucks dollars. Um, it just appeared on Sim Market. No fanfare, no nothing. And I couldn't resist because I love this thing. Um, the Ukrainian model making company do a 172nd scale kit of it. But it's a bit rough, but it's kind of a nice model. Um, it's the later model with the enclosed cockpit. So let's hop outside and have a quick squeeze. Flies very gracefully. The fins captured a couple of these. Not with a flag over the top there. Really should watch my attitude, shouldn't I? Okay. All good. All good. So I think it's our Westgate. Let's try that again. Let's go for a run along well. Actually I want to show you something. This lake here which you can see at our 11 o'clock when you come off the Westgate Bridge for a goodly portion of the year it's actually um, pink due to the salinity or the, the what is it? Um, SO2 level, the salt levels and it's really quite gorgeous we've got a lot of pink lakes down here especially over in South Australia but yeah this one, you catch it at the right angle of day and it's just it's like um, it's like rose quartz it's quite an incredibly looking incredible looking thing it's like the spirit of Tasmania, the ferry that takes you from Melbourne down to Tasmania. Good day in the harbour. So as you can see, we've got, um, if you don't go fast, if you don't go quick, let's have a look. I'm not sure if there are any Easter eggs. Fuel's up front. Nice detail on the engine, on the dong I reckon you'll be lucky to hit anyway near 200 clips an hour in this thing I think it cruises at around 90 or 80 or 90 and that's, that's quite cool but this is lovely, it's very stable uh, it doesn't have the, that fiery quality of the Chilton or the, the the zippy quality of the A1R, which is more, which is very much the A1R, um, sorry, the SDA, very much to their credit. The A1R Design Bureau, I really dig what they do. I don't say that about everybody, but I actually am partial to this era. Um, yeah, very, very impressive. I dig it. I like that. You get three liveries. Very sweet. And that little, I'm not sure what dock, I think it's the same dock engine that you find in the Polycarpov. Um, is it 
Peter Schwetzen, something like that. But here we are, we'll put down at Brighton Marina or something like that, see how she takes the water and then actually you know what? Let's 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 not be shy, let's point it down. We'll bring her around. And we'll just check out the amphib amphib qualities of it. Oh, we actually have a uh, look at that. We do have a seaplane path. A bit snazzy. Never even noticed that before. There you go. There you crack and go. Okay. Right. Well, we're going to avoid that, like the bay, because we want to hop onto the beach. Now what beach are we hitting? I don't think it's Kilds, I don't think it's St Kilda. I think it'll be down towards Brighton. Yeah, let's do it. We're just gonna plonk her down over here. See how she behaves. The way, I mean, the clearance between the prop and the top of the hull is really, really extraordinary. It's kind of like, whoa. Just holding her off, hopefully on the step. Oh. That wasn't the plane, that was me getting, getting a bit squirrely. Alright, very cool. Let's see how the water... Sweet! A little pontoon scuttering about. Very cool. Alright, let's um... Let's make our way towards the shoreline. Now, I don't think... I didn't even notice. Does it have a separate rudder? Pretty convinced it doesn't. All good. Just going to keep the right rudder on for a bit. Hopefully the uh, the airflow will go over it and check it all in. Actually, let's let's come over here a bit. I'm thinking. And as we approach, a little bit like an early version of the C Ray, which is precisely what it is, really. A little amphib. Take us all about. I like even the texture on the tires. Quite bulbous, very cool. Okay, so now, 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 we is going to we're going to try and there we go. There we go. Ah, <sighs> you're lucky, fella. I can't be bothered nicking your speedboat. I've just been up in the Astro One. And this puppy and that has sated my need. Look at that, you even get seaweed on the shoreline. Very cool. There we go, out of the water. Oh. Very elegant little beastie. Alright, and that's the uh, that's your chap roll, SH2. Uh, 28 bucks, I was around, I don't know, 16 euros or something. Um, have a handbrake? I don't see any. Oh, there we go. Choke. Yep, 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 yep. Off, off, off. Alright, now I'll go, go for a dip in, um, Port Phillip here and let's hop out and have a squeeze, shall we? Oh, look at that, you get chocks. Okay, cool. That's very, very nice. Okay, so now we're looking up close. Never even thought to do that before. But they haven't skimmed. They really have not skimmed. Hard to imagine that this served from 33 through 64 in various capacities. Heck of a long run for such a... Well, what's fundamentally a 1920s design? Check out those little chocks. Very sweet. A1R Design Bureau, I take my hat off to you. This is lovingly created. Very, very sweet work. Well done. Thanks, guys. I 
don't know what the hell these are. So I'm going to imagine that. Um, no, I'm not going to imagine anything. All right, big beautiful world, shut me up. Have a fantastic day. See you later. Bye.